Oh, that was nice. Oh, what shall I call it? I need to, I need to name it. Mm. Okay, in honor of, I call it. In today's episode, how are you doing to both of both of all country stories of my life? Oh, I look really tan, don't I? Oh, gorgeous. Because today in Stockholm, Sweden, spring, April, the sun is not out. No, it's gone behind clouds. It's grey and boring. And I don't know what to do with myself today. I don't know what to do with myself today. There's a song somewhere. I just don't know what to do with myself. Hashtag Dusty Springfield. May she rest in peace. So what do I do when I don't know what to do? Well, I clean the kitchen. Yesterday I started organising the kitchen. I had to stop me through. I was so overwhelmed. Today I will continue. Let's watch this mess. Okay. So this is the kitchen table. Well, not so much table, I think. It's a work surface. But, you know, this surface cannot be worked upon before I uh, fix it. So this needs... A, just a disclaimer here. Usually it doesn't look like this. This is just how I left it yesterday when I sort of was putting things out to, you know, start cleaning. One of the most important things you need to have when you're cleaning is not a rag or a brush or a broom or water, stuff like that. No, it's a nice podcast to listen to, or maybe some music. I will start with some music. I started on Spotify a playlist that I call The Besta, the, or maybe I call it The Best, I'm not sure. And it's not many songs on there right now, but there will be. Yeah, I'm going to listen to it now. I guess I'm a bit over Spotify because they keep adding music to my uh, sort of playlists. I want to listen to my music, not their music. Damn it. So San instead, Diego. there's One podcasts. One of the things that changed was your... This is the Founding Sun, a curiosity podcast on the iHeart app. A couple of days ago when I made those sandwiches, when I cut the crust off, well, now I'm making sort of breadcrumbs. Okay, so here's a little hack that I learned when you're making uh, breadcrumbs. Even if you think the bread is stale, you sort of microwave it first, because that will make it sort of soggy, because there's something to do with the water content, I don't know, chemistry or electricity, I don't know. But anyway, and then you sort of put it through the, the kitchen appliance of your choice, uh, because it will get drier and more brittle after being microwaved, and also for a short while, a little bit soggy. But not really soggy, but there you go. You're, you're in the show with Katie Fitter and, as well, and up here, and I think I, I, you guys have been like besties forever, right? So, when I turned vegan after about 25 years as a vegetarian, I bought a lot of vegan cookbooks. But now I realise I don't use them at all. I, uh, because I cook from the magazine and I don't read them. So I think I would be no donating these. Uh, I will be keeping this one. Because I think it's a rarity. The George Bernard Shaw Vegetarian Cookbook. And also, wait, this. Cocktails Made Easy. It's like 500 drinks with 14 key ingredients. Oh yeah. So if you're a friend, friend, if you're a friend of mine, sis, and you suddenly, and you're about to meet me, well, don't be afraid if I come bearing gifts. In uh, cleaning the kitchen and I'm looking through today's videos and writing notes and uh, hashtag sis and stuff. Hello and welcome to What's Cooking Good Looking. My name is Philip Fist and I am a sometimes aviator and also a dog lover. And I'm here to teach you everything there is about vegan cooking. Let's start. I can't believe it's six o'clock. It can't. It shan't. It mustn't. I need to start thinking about dinner. Wait, I do have that refried beans and they are sort of a week old. If they're not mouldy, I will eat them. Everything was A-OK, -okay, so I'm looking forward to a sort of dinner. Hopefully this will be dinner. I have a, a window open that I might 
crave something more because this is not really, you know, enough for a growing boy. No, no. Okay, so this morning I bid on an auction for a pair of Versace H&M collaboration shoes. Uh, I had my eye on a pair of this for a long time. This sort of, uh, and I've got them. I was the only one bidding, so I got them for really cheap. And uh, then I thought, oh, I'll take a couple of weeks to, for them to get here. But then I got a text saying, this guy who, because uh, he's got the money, I, I, I sort of, I sent it, I paid for them. And he sort of said, wait, wait, I see that you live there. I can sort of, uh, I can, um, your address, because he, he saw the address because, you know, where to send the shoes. He said, I work at Lily Holman, so we can just meet there and I can give it to you. And I said, well, terrific. So I'm meeting him tomorrow. I think it's a him. If you're wondering how the kitchen is coming along, I would say nicely. I sort of have this part of the bench set up for mixer and air fryer and sort of, yeah. So I don't, they're always plugged in and ready to go. So this is looking quite nice, right? But then of course, things are getting moved around. Sometimes you feel like you have to have a martini, right? And I thought, hmm, what about if I mix something called vanilla fr frangelic a nutty martini, which is half and half, half vodka vanilla and half frangelico. Sounds lovely, right? Yeah, well, I'd be the judge of that. So you're supposed to either shake or stir a martini, but I like to put a great big lump of ice in the middle of the glass and just sip as I go along. So here we go, absolute vanilla. One shot of this, one part Frangelico. Up yours. Oh, that was nice. Oh, what shall I call it? I need to, I need to name it. Mm. Okay, in honour of, I call it uh, Barry Humphreys. Yeah. Mm. This is really good. So, half and half Frangelico and absolute uh, vanilla. Really good. Breathtakingly good. People, it's time to call it a night or a day, or an evening at least. The kitchen is somewhat more organized, somewhat more clean, and I am gonna take a bubble bath. Thank you for watching and for liking, commenting, subscribing and following. It really helps and uh, something to do with the internet and the algorithm, I think. So thank you so much.